what up music producers how have you been um today we'll be looking at a special video about equalization what we know as eq when i first started music production it was uh something that i didn't really understand i've been seeing those terms lp ip hp low pass i pass chef and um, band pass so those are the things i want to quickly explain um, the meaning to you so i'll be using so many eq but although i will use the um, eq of fl studio as a case study for this tutorial then and then i'll show you more about other external plugins so all eq are, are actually the same thing so before i start let me quickly explain what an eq is as i draw in an eq from um, the track we have here an eq is basically uh, a, a a plugin that actually shapes your frequency it shows you your frequency and it helps you you know shape your frequency to uh, whatever you want so i'll just quickly look for an eq the normal stock eq we have and also the parametric eq parametric eq1 and parametric eq2 so i'm just going to detach it i want this video to be uh you know as brief as we can so we have two eq here this is the stock uh, eq that comes with fl studio now what is an eq a eq is actually um equalization it helps you shape your frequencies it actually shows you show you more about the, the frequency range and if you check your eq we have the normal human ear can hear below can't hear below 20 hertz and can't hear above twenty thousand hertz so it actually measured in as just frequency if you are familiar with your physics we are not yet to you know teach you physics but um and other stuff but i'm just i just want to show you what an eq does and those terms we see in eq which is actually confusing at times low pass high pass shape pass peak and you know a lot of that so now first of all when you open an eq you see how many bands that is for the stock plugin you see seven bands one two three four five six seven it's actually telling you your frequency range we have the high mid range and low mid and the you know mid the mid the mid range and the low mid and the low range so you can see over if you look at the top you see high mid you see treble you see low mid bass sub it just actually tell you now also in the eq you also see keys c1 c2 c3 just like how you have in your you know in your keyboard or your piano you have an uh, octave first octave second octave third octave you know that the, the first octave is actually lower and the high octave is actually those uh, octave six octave seven octave five those are the high range then the low range is octave one so these are the eq is also c1 c2 c3 c4 which is actually our mid range and just so just know that the eq has um, a range a key also so now for example if i right click you see type order and key you see from key a to g sharp so there is a key a in the eq key a from a0 a2 80 to a9 which is fourteen thousand. we have the mid range a which is 88 880 we have the low a which is 275 <clears throat> so let's say for instance what you are playing something you are playing on the background is actually in the mid range in the key of a and you just want to go there straight let's say i want to take this six now to the key of a that is playing in the mid range i can just go to key a mid range which is something like 85 and it's going to go there and you can see our six is already at the a in the mid range so that is what the key does if you know the key is very very easy for you to boost the key of the sample you are playing or tame the key of what you are playing so i'll just quickly reset this one and then we have we have six band now this one also you, the difference is that you are it's the, this is a, a is actually showing you the frequency so if i play something like this now let me play the loop so you are actually seeing the frequencies but for this one you are not seeing it so that is just the difference you are seeing what is playing on the background and 
for this one which is biometric eq you have to use your ear to get this and uh, to actually listen carefully and then know what you're actually reducing taming or this thing so let's get right into it i'll just um, remove this one and then i'll bring this eq here so now i'm going to right click and then let's talk about reset we all know reset if i reset if i take it here and i reset it's going to go back to where it's falling to now the way i want to show you is this one this type now the type of an eq tells you the shape and what you also want the eq the 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 actual uh, the band to do the band controlling the eq to do now if i take this type and i put it on low pass or any of this right now it has it is at picking so picking is just like the default where if i take it and i'll take it back to picking type picking is still is just where you just whatever you you know you twerk on it now let's reset it how about i take um low pass it's going to do like this now if you study the word what they say before i explain let me reset okay i'm going to turn it, take it back to picking now it's back to picking so that is just picking now this is the eye end eye end and this is the low end i want to separate the eq into two now this is the low end from here to here low end and this is the eye end now what you see here type low pass means you you want it to affect the eye end meaning if i turn it to low pass it's going to affect the eye end meaning it's aligned the low frequency pass through so if you're playing the low frequency is passing through this is low pass filter so low pass let the lows or let the low pass let pass means let's let us hear the sound let us hear the low pass now it's actually affecting the eye hand so now if i change it reset and then i turn it back to picking type picking is going to reset itself now if i say i want to affect the low end i need to use eye pass meaning let the eye pass let only the eye frequency pass through so the only the eye frequency is passing through the only the eye frequency is passing through why the low frequency is being what's affected now I reset and then turn it back to picking picking is let every let everything pass through so now you know what low pass is low pass means low frequency should pass through i pass high frequency should pass through low pass i want only the low frequency to be heard i pass i want only the high frequency to be heard do you get the gist so if i do like this this is what this is let the eye pass i want to let the eye frequency to the head so this is i pass filter which is being done from the low end now i'm going to reset this is low pass let the low frequency be head or let the low frequency pass through the eq i don't want to hear the eye end so that is low pass filter let the lows pass so reset now how about We've talked about picking we talk about low pass we talk about high pass band pass if i change this to band pass meaning let only that band pass let only so and uh, let um, the sounds or the frequency in that band i want to do that frequency to pass through so type band pass you see you can see only the frequency in band four with the head so you can actually use your uh, scroll mouse to you know adjust it so this is band pass let only this band pass through let the voice and let the, uh, the frequencies of this band be heard only that is band pass now if i change it back to um band stop it means let the frequency not be heard the frequency in that band i don't want it to be heard so that is just the meaning so band pass let only that band the frequency in that band be heard band stop I don't want to hear the frequency or the sounds in that band so band stop is actually splitting the frequency into two just like how and um, god divided the red sea you know what i'm talking about now so i'm going to change it back to picking and then we have our eq back so which one the remain two we have the low chef and i chef so these two low chef and i chef now when you think about it like you want to put something on top of a shelf a book on top of a shelf so when we say i shelf 
meaning you are taking something high like this you want to add something on the you want you want it to go up now low shelf means you are putting it under so this is low shelf this is high shelf so let's quickly demonstrate it with this one type put it on high shelf high shelf you are not going to see the effect now until you move it up okay let's let me use another one as for example this one type i chef and you are going to see the shape i chef is i chef yeah i chef so now if i take it up you can see what it's doing to the eq is actually leaving band seven same as this one if i is actually if i take it up band two is actually affecting it band one is affecting it but see what happens when i change it to low chef low chef means let okay let's just put it on low chef it's going to affect the low end so now you can see that you can see the shape of the red eq here can you see the red one like this so it's actually as if you are hanging something up although band two is going to still affect it and band one is going to still affect it but that of the um third the um the third band is actually on a low chef so low shelf is for the low frequency high shelf is for the high frequency so if i change this one to high shelf it's going to affect it to where seven is high shelf high shelf so when i take it up you, you can see it's, it's actually affecting the eye but putting it as if you're hanging something on the shelf so i'm going to quickly reset it so that is that about uh, eq if you if those terms you see in eq reset I'm going to reset this one also so everything's back to normal now this one is actually if you want to compare between a and b so if i say i put something here i can no change this one and i say okay this is my b a and b a and b you are trying to compare the two so a b a b now if you like this one you are going to click this one this button right here or this knob right here is telling that keep this this is the one i want so if i press it no matter how i change it see it's just going to remain the same so i'm just going to put it at default setting and then we're back to normal now this button is just showing you turn off the monitor turn on the monitor and just that so it's actually off on off on so show the show the frequency and turn it off so <clears throat> that is what that one so this is view band tokens if you want to see the circles if you want to see it like this without the numbers you turn on this one and turn it off this is iq hq which is high quality sampling so i don't think it has anything to do with the sound so i'm going to turn on the monitor so it does not have anything to do with the but it's just you no know, high quality then um L -I -N which is nobody linear phase eq now linear phase eq and normal eq is actually um i don't know how to explain it but linear is actually very important for you to use linear eq if you are on percussions or you are mixing your you are eqing your drums there's a difference between linear eq and um, um normal eq linear eq does not actually when you eq it does not actually changes affect the waveform or will i say uh, the sample or something like that is actually what it does when you use normal eq on sound it actually shifts it shifts the uh, phase and they call it phase sometimes linear eq will change phase some um, i mean the normal eq changes phase of the of the sample why the linear eq does not so this is just another option this button right here so you can see histogram enable range you can enable the range and frequency precision so no but i don't normally come here so there's a lot of things option so that's just about the eq now this also is actually this right here which you can adjust this is actually showing you move breath to right so if i take this up and i move this is actually moving it left to right of which you can do it like this now if i take this down it shows you do you want the uh, the um, slope to be wide or to be narrow and that brings us to um, the order do you want order eight so order eight is like this do you want order gentle slope eight 
um, not gen to eight so it's just showing you the the sh edge the edges so that's what the other does changes the edges the gentle slope or the the steep you want it like this so it's actually going to be like a square edge so that is just that i'm going to reset it and then you know what this is this is just disable you don't want before and after before and after so that is what those button does you want to mute it if you click on it you are muting it now so that is all we have to you know, learn about uh, eq so i can actually you know use our scroll mouse button and the rest so that is the meaning of those low pass high pass gentle slope and the rest of so let's just experiment and see what it does to the sound so once again in summary low pass is for the high end so if i change it to low pass you're saying it's going to cut all the sound you see because this is low pass filters let the low pass if i change it to high pass it's going to let the high pass like this so i change it i reset so let's continue this is if i press um, i change it to low pass it's going to you use low pass for high end so it's going to let the low pass so just like that and then the rest so that's just about eq it's band stop band stop is going to create a hole don't let anything from that band pass through then this one also and band pass so only the band should be head so picking take you back to your normal picking picking type we have picking which is your normal this one also let's turn it to picking and then we're back to normal so if i want to take this to key c or a uh, key of c abc in the i end so this is where key c is located in the i end i want to boost it or whatever so i'm going to take it to key c sharp in the low end and then you see so you just take it to where the key is and then you can boost if you know the dash of the sample so that's just what you need to know about an eq so i'm going to tell you the difference between this eq this eq is actually the same with this so you have one one okay i'm gonna reset it back one seven this is your six this is your five three two one and this is your one this is your two three four five six seven so i'm going to load in an external um, eq so that you can see the difference why people use external eq so let's go to generator and um, effect okay sorry installed effect i'm going to go drawing and um, pro eq from our uh, pro eq pro eq pro q pro q3 i like using this one this plugin is actually the same thing with any other eq out there so we have let me see maybe wave there's eq uh wave eq wave eq wave eq so we have uh, EQ, sslr eq so we can use this one also and then you see difference between analog eq and you know digital eq so i'm still waiting for it to load my i don't know maybe the recording oh it's been long so this is uh wave linear ssl eq we still have so many other eq so let's just look at the two this is the first one now you can see this one there is no actual band you are meant to put your band so anyway i click double click it's going to create a band there but there is nothing you can create as many band as you can as many as you can so clicking and dragging up even creates a band automatically so you have one two three four five six seven eight nine and so on and so forth so but the difference is this one if you actually close if you actually double click at the end which is the low end it's going to give you an eye pass filter which is letting the eye pass through if i click here it's going to give you a low pass feel a, a low pass so it's automatically so that's just to tell you that this is an eye cut this is a low cut you can see it here low cut low pass this is eye cut eye pass so which is the eye cut so it's just another name another name is eye pass 
the to I cut I pass to low um I, to I cut low pass to low cut I pass so just you know get familiar with it so this shape is a bell shape but this is a this is when you are boosting so it's not actually um band pass or band stop so this is just boosting all these are type of picking picking shape we have in a you know normal eq plugin so the the, the um if you come here you see zero latency natural freeze and linear freeze of which we have in our normal eq we have in our normal eq so you can see the graph yeah so turn it to linear freeze it's just that it's not going to you know affect the sound when you change anything unlike the normal phase uh what else what else what else what else what else do you need to know so this is also the same if you want to boost it if you want to cut it down we have that in our normal stock plugins this is if you want to move it around right this one is just like okay let's take it off and let's see what it does so the uh weed of it it's just the same thing now the advantage is that this one has can affect the mid side your side your stereo your right your left so if i see what happens to your pc you see only just your left ear of the um uh, of your uh earpiece will be playing but if i change it to the right it's going to affect just the left side and then you can hear only the right side but if i change it to the side you are just going to hear the middle part the center and i change it to you know stereo it's going to affect everything change it to the mid it's, going to, it's not going to affect the sides so that is just what you need so analyzer on the analyzer you see this one is just to freeze it and tell you which frequencies are actually it's actually telling you the frequencies are not good so if i put an eq there put an eq there and then i solo it with this button you can see you can you won't like that frequency this one too you won't like that frequency so it's actually telling you the frequency you're not supposed to listen to and that's just what is just there you can change the shape i shape or low chef low chef or i shape you can see so low chef actually affects the uh, eyes why the eye shape actually affects the low so you get the idea just like normal eq so i shelf this is i shelf low then uh, why this one is low shelf if you you know change it to low shelf so just simple thing you just need to know simple basic thing consigning an eq so i hope this video helped you a lot to understand what an eq is so this one is actually an, an analog eq so you can see turn off analog and so what's the difference between analog and digital analog is just because of um, then when they were making music where there were no door made music through you know um through uh, the real compressors and the real um uh, scenes and the rest just things are just you know this one are uh, just things that are created digitally the it normal eq we are using to formulate what we normally use those instruments we normally use them so if you check this one you also see it hp hf hmf lmf and lf all those are just you know the same thing you see so each each one can control now if you check this is a bell shape this is the affecting the width you can see it here anytime you see the shape the width this is affecting the heads so you can actually move moving this to is uh, to three is telling you it's in three thousand four thousand so if this one can go up to seven thousand this one can go up to you know sixteen thousand sixteen thousand to one thousand so i sh uh, i it's just like this is affecting the eye this is affecting the mid eye and just like that so this is your face button to treat faces so that's just normal normal you know is another type of you know eq so that is that so thank you for you know watching the video don't forget to hit the like button don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification button see you in our next video 
where we share you know um, more tutorial about FL studio so comment below if you want me to share any other video you want to you want to you have any question to ask you can also share and like so by the way my next video I'll be showing you how I'm going to make use this to make an Afrobeat the look people say Bonaboy type of Afrobeat so if you really want to uh, learn more about how to make the Afrobeat from scratch you can you know turn up the notification button so that when the video comes out it's going to I'm going to let you know. all right take care see you in our next video